footprints. Simple, beautiful things we humans inadvertently leave behind, showing we've passed this way. These footprints you and I can understand. Our feet leave them in the soft sand as we walk along the beach. But what I can understand is this nonsense about man's carbon footprint. That whole concept is just plain nuts. In fact, it's a political construct. It's not reality. Let me explain. Here's a simple scientific fact you can bet your life on. All life on Earth is carbon-based. Everything around you is in large part carbon. I'm carbon. You're carbon. Those wonderful amber waves of grain or corn or celery or whatever food you see America's farmers growing in their fields, those are living things and they're carbon-based too. The clothes you're wearing, or if you just got out of the shower, the towel you're drying off with is carbon-based. Earth is loaded with carbon, and thank goodness for that. Carbon is the basis of all life. Without it, we wouldn't exist. I just cringe whenever I hear politicians and people who call themselves scientists refer to carbon dioxide as a pollutant. That's just stupid beyond belief. When I heard the news last spring that the EPA had proposed that carbon dioxide be declared a pollutant, I nearly fell out of my chair. Carbon dioxide is necessary for life on Earth. How in the world can anyone declare something that's absolutely necessary for life on Earth a pollutant? What are they going to do next? Ban it? Here's a news flash for you. You and I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be on this beach talking to you if it weren't for carbon dioxide. Every time you and I breathe out, we exhale carbon dioxide. When we breathe in, our lungs take in air, absorb the oxygen we need to live, and we exhale carbon dioxide that plants need for food. The plants take that carbon dioxide and in turn give off oxygen. It's an amazing system that's been around since the beginning of time. In order for us to live and prosper, the plants need us and we need them. Carbon dioxide is not a pollutant. It's just the opposite. It's a blessing. In fact, many scientists say there's not enough carbon dioxide. Geologic history shows that atmospheric carbon dioxide used to be 10 times higher than it is today. Plants today are starved for carbon dioxide. The more carbon dioxide, the faster plants will grow, period. Scientists estimate that global food production has increased 12% because of the increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide. That's also why greenhouse food producers often increase the carbon dioxide in their greenhouses by three to 400%. It's insane to call carbon dioxide a pollutant. It is not a pollutant. Many call it a miracle gas. Should we recycle when we can? Should we conserve Earth's resources and not be wasteful? Absolutely. That's just common sense. But worrying about the carbon dioxide we exhale, about the other normal and reasonable things we do in the course of daily living, about our carbon footprint, that is just beyond foolish. And it's borderline, no, not borderline, it's just plain stupid. Carbon and carbon dioxide are necessary parts of life, and without them, we wouldn't exist. Let me put it this way. Just because Al Gore and a bunch of other extremists have gone over the edge doesn't mean we have to follow them. If we pass this cap and trade legislation, our way of life as we've known it will be gone, just like these footprints. If you've never contacted your senators before, this is the time to start. You can go to www.congress.org and find all the information that you need to contact them. Tell them that if they vote for cap and trade, you won't vote for them. The information that you've seen in this video is very important. Please pass it along to as many people as you can before the Senate votes on this dangerous cap and trade legislation. Thank you for your time.